Hey ladies, it's Diana Bryan, your head hunting housewife. How is everyone? We are on Tuesday, April 21st here, still during these Corona days here in 2020, but I want to first thank you guys for really sticking with me through this time. A lot of people could have uh, perfect excuses to not uh, continue this training and become a recruiter, but I'm really proud of those that have stuck it through with me and invested time in yourself and working with me. And there's been some payoffs already just a few weeks in. So for those of you that are seeing this, that are getting those $500 checks for helping me do some hires. Congratulations. And uh, I was just as happy to write that check as I'm sure you will be to receive it because you are a huge help to me. <laughs> um, so that's that. The good news is we've closed out most of those Pennsylvania jobs um, from first quarter. There might be still some lingering through that we're waiting to get hired at about three people, in fact, maybe even four um, that we could still have come through. So fingers crossed. But, um, but I've moved on to some new openings within the same company that you're recruiting for um, down in Tampa, Florida. So this episode here in Tactical Tuesday and learning about sourcing will actually be all about um, the new job. You guys are often running in sourcing at this point. You're knowing how to get on Indeed if that's the part you're using. I know some of you are using Facebook, others are using LinkedIn, but whatever you're liking and finding your niche in for sourcing, keep up the good work. Um, and let's talk about a new job order. So um, for this one, again, the company uh, is, you were helping me hire for in um, Philadelphia, again, now has openings in Tampa. And so what I want to do is basically go through the nuances of that position because it will switch up a little bit from what you've been working on for the Pennsylvania role. Um, so what they're looking for there, we have a couple openings. The ones I want you to focus on for those of you that are new to recruiting is still focus on the recruiter roles mainly. And there is another account executive role that I have I'll talk about. And I also have a manager job that I'll focus on. For those of you that are used to doing manager roles, um, email me, let me know if you'd like to work that one instead. But I think the two recruiter roles and the account executive role is a nice one because it's very much in line with what we hired for before for this firm. Um, so basically the only big difference is, the good news is the pay, um, this manager down in Tampa is is willing to pay a little bit more in base. So the base um, will be between that 50 uh, and 75 base range with year one being more like 80. If you remember um, with some of the managers we're working with uh, in the North, usually it's flip-flop, usually the North pays more. But in this circumstance, um, this opportunity is a little bit stronger in the South uh, at Tampa. So instead of um, that whole 40 to 60 range base, this again is 50 to 75 base range, which is great. Um, so as far as money, that's important. They have to live right near Tampa, Florida. So you're going to want to put in that. And of course, I don't have it right in front of me. I'm going to email you all that Tampa, um, the exact zip code. So when you're doing your searches, you know exactly, um, you know, how to find that. Um, and what else do I want to tell you? So basically there's two teams. This is going to be still the case management recruiters that are actually actively looking for nurses, like travel nurses, or, you know, kind of a staffing role where these nurses are going to go into hospitals or for social work or that kind of thing. So these recruiters will be in-house there in Tampa managing those cases, all the bunch of nurses that they work with, that they put out different places, maybe for months at a time and that kind of thing. So similar that we've done before. Um, the new role that we had that's for recruiters well, same comp, is more on the hospital information management system. So this is more like IT side and coding um, and so again, same personality type we're looking for as far as needing to have that experience, um, a couple years experience, ideally at least. And then, um, along with that price range, um, but if they have any IT background, that's really great for these roles. And I think that is kind of the lead uh, push right now for the position. If we can look at these recruiters um, that are in that coding. So I've been just, you know, focused on when I've kind of done some searching and to see what's out there. And I haven't done too many. I've only done a few of me actually speaking. I'm really leaving this to you now that I have a strong team under me to find these people. Now that you've been successful and have a, little, a couple hires under your belt, I'm going to continue to focus my time when I'm sourcing on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, on the C-level positions through one of my other um, company partnerships where I'm hiring um, some COOs. So I'm going to continue on that, but really pass these jobs off to all of you. Um, only a couple of you on each, on each job doesn't feel competitive. I want us to all feel like a team always. 
So, but again, we have two recruiter roles and the AE role is paid the same as the recruiter. Um, but, uh, and they also, for this AE role, a lot of times account executive roles are out in the field getting clients for this position with this manager. He does not need that at all. They can go out a little bit if they want to, but everything can be done from the office, which is nice. Um, so that way this AE role is very similar to the recruiting role as far as pay, that whole 50 to 75 base. And then with opportunity to be at 80 first year, probably as high. I was saying 100 or two, but he was saying 125 to 150 for Tampa, which is pretty cool. So Tampa's rocking right now. Um, and just so you know, the top recruiting producers at this firm down south will make um, his top account executives make about 275 total and his top recruiter producers make about 300,000 annually. So good money in recruiting, y'all. <laughs> um, but it's a great way for you women training. Recruiters is so ideal. That's why I love this partnership I have on my desk. This is perfect for you because you're hiring recruiters. It's a great, easy way into recruiting. Um, and then the sales role, it's not a very high-end sales role. Um, you know, if you were hiring for a GE Healthcare right away for selling, um, you know, million dollar equipment, this is something that kind of, it's a nice, you know, people with a few years out of school can do it. So those are the new jobs. Um, we'll talk about the management later. Again, ping me on email if you prefer to work another one, but the two recruiter roles and the AE role is the best focus. Um, it's Tuesday, so if y'all start searching on that. Today, I've already spoken to some of you who should put the, um, we're going to do some postings. I already have the one I uh, spoke to that can do that for me. So the rest of you can do that in your own fashion, like we discussed. Um, email me any questions. Otherwise, I would say by, you know, Thursday, um, ideally by Thursday night, um, but even into Friday morning, if you want to send along your top you know, one to two people that you like, just like we talked about when you send them over to send me their resume. And if you can cut and paste the LinkedIn, if I, if they have a LinkedIn, that makes it really easy for me to see. Since I'm getting this from a bunch of you, it is hard with my emails. It gets very bogged down. So I'm doing my best to manage and keep up on all of that. And I'm going to find a better way of doing it because right now it's not very efficient. I don't think, unfortunately, but for now, just send me, I mean, spend all week going through an interviewing or sourcing whoever you want, but just send me again, the top one to two, um, so I can look at everyone's and see who's got the best. And then um, what's nice about this, when you when it lands, you know, you get paid on it. So you're hopefully making back the money you've invested with me if you've done so. Um, and then once you're done, once you've actually hired somebody, I know you're just in the sourcing roles. So you haven't really talked to these people or client, but, you know, next month in May, we'll get into actually you speaking on the phone with some of these people. Um, and then in month three, for those that want to talk to clients or get your own, we'll be on there. But for April, you all are doing great, fantastic, making money already, which is so exciting to me um, and for you. And so new jobs to work. So fresh blood, again, focus in the Tampa. And um, any questions you have my email, let me know. Of course, you know my ADD and my time span. So keep it minimal and simple, short and sweet. I don't even get to read the long emails. And uh, we'll go from there. So good luck on this search, sourcing sorcerers, and we'll be talking soon. Bye.